sum and product of roots of quadratic equation. So, here we are going to discuss about the sum and product of a quadratic equation. So, here in abbreviation we can write it as Q e here the quadratic equation general form is of a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0. So, it has two roots. So, we have to find out we are assuming those roots as one is alpha the other is beta. So, we have to find out the sum and as well as the product of those roots in an advanced level. Now, the general form of a quadratic equation is a x square plus plus b x plus c equals to 0, whereas a is not equals to 0 and b comma c are belonging to the real constants. So, here the x square quotient is of a and x quotient is of b and c is a real constant. Then now here let us write the coefficient of x square is equals to a and the coefficient of x is equals to b and the real constant is of c. Since gen form is in second degree because the highest degree of the variable that is x is of 2. So, it has two roots. So, here since the quadratic equation that is general form is of second degree equation. Hence, it has two roots. So, here generally we are going to assume first root as alpha and the second root as beta. So, here let the roots let the two roots be one is alpha the other is beta. So, here we know that sum of the roots is given by means of. So, here sum of the roots that is alpha plus beta is given by means of minus b by a and similarly, say here let us find out the product of the roots. So, here product of the roots is given by means of alpha into beta and that is equals to c by a. Whereas, b is the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x square. Then c is the co real constant and a is the coefficient of x square. So, here based upon, so we can write it as, so alpha plus beta that is the sum of the roots is given by means of minus b by a then that is equals to minus coefficient of x overall divided by a is the coefficient of x square. So, similarly, the product is given by means of alpha into beta then that is equals to c by a whereas, c by a is given by means of whereas, c is nothing but the real constant 
फोर ऑल डिवाइड बाय ए अगेन वेर एज ए इज नथिंग बट दोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर सो वी कैन राइट इट एज कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर सो बेस्ड अपॉन दिस टू सो लेट एस परफॉर्म the example that is the illustration say the problem number 1 whereas in case of problem number 1 find the sum and as well as the product of the roots of the equation that is of the quadratic equation which is nothing but two x square minus seven x plus three is equals to zero. So now the solution starts. So in our solution, as per the problem. The quadratic equation which is given to us is of say 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equals to zero, which is nothing but the given quadratic equation. And let us compare with the general form. So the general form of a quadratic equation is of a x square plus b x plus c is equals to zero, which is nothing but the gen form. of qe that is the quadratic equation then now here by comparing so here the x square coefficient is of a and here x square coefficient in the given equation is of 2 and x coefficient in the gen form is of b and the x coefficient is of minus 7 in the given quadratic equation there were as c is the real constant and the real constant is of 3 in the given quadratic equation so here by comparing coefficients of x square and x and as well as real constants so here we can write it as or then we have a the coefficient of x square is of 2 in the given so here given quadratic equation and whereas b the coefficient of x is equals to Minus seven in the given quadratic equation, and the real constant c is of three. Then now, but we have to find out the sum and as well as the product of the roots. But we know that sum of the roots is given by means of say a sum that is alpha. Plus beta is given by means of minus b by a. So here, therefore, sum of the roots equals to minus b by a. We are going to replace the values of a, b, and c of the given quadratic equation. Whereas, as as per the problem, the a value is of two, b is of minus seven, and c is of three. Two minus seven and three. Two minus seven and as well as three, so we are going to substitute these values in the sum. That is the sum of the roots. Then now here, alpha plus beta is given by means of minus must be written as it is and b. So here b is of minus seven, so we are write within the brackets minus seven over all divided by a. So a is of two. Then now, so that implies so minus of minus is plus. Then now seven by two. So in this manner, I got this. Alpha plus beta. That is nothing but the sum of the roots. So here, hence, sum of the roots. That is alpha plus beta is given by means of positive seven by two. That is nothing but seven by two. So in this manner, we have to find out the product of the roots. So here, we know that the product. That is alpha into beta is equals to c by a. So here, based upon this formula. in order to find out this product 
of the roots of the given quadratic equation. So, here we have to replace the values of c and as well as a in the given formula. So, here thereby, so here alpha into beta, the product of the roots is given by means of c, c is of 3 overall divided by a. So, a is of 2. So, in this manner I got. So, here hence product of the roots that is alpha into beta is given by means of 3 by 2. Then similarly, 